Chia. What up, what up, yo? It's your boy Jay Real at the Real Hip Hop Show. Where hip hop is everything and everything is hip hop. Y'all niggas know what it is, man. It's just, you know how we do, man. I got my, um, I got my little bro Shy here. You What's know saying, what I mean? Shy, what up, man? What's good, bro? What's good, fool? Hey, nothing much, man. Appreciate you giving me the opportunity to talk, you know? Yeah, man. It's just, you know, we were, nah, we were sitting here, you know what I mean? We were sitting having like some hip hop discussions and shit. You know what I mean? Just talking. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and I, I was just like, we was like, what was all about Kanye, right? Yeah, we was on the subject of Kanye. Like how niggas, niggas act like, um, like Kanye, you know what I'm saying, ain't been a part of the culture. Like, you remember when niggas used to like Kanye on some conscious shit? Yeah. Like, remember that? Now they act like he ain't shit and this, that, and other. Facts, you know, trying to uplift the people and teach us things. I think, but you know what? I think that what fuck Kanye up, what I think fuck Kanye up was the, um, the Donald Trump shit, man. That fucked him up. You don't think so? Like, with, with the so-called, so-called, so-called conscious community. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess you could say that. I really think another thing that led to people not believing in him consciously was him being with Kim Kardashian. A lot of people was like, True. how could you be conscious? And be with her? And be with her. Ain't that kind of, so that's like another subject? Uh, I like, get, can, you be, can you be conscious with you with a white girl? <laughs> basically. <laughs> You know, that's a whole nother conversation in its own, but I think have a you, lot of people just lost. Have you faith heard um uh, have you heard Kanye New Album? That Jesus is King? Yeah, Jesus is King. Have you heard it? Or skimmed it? I heard one song on What song you? Um Church on Sunday or some shit. He did on like one of those On the one like of those on night the video shows. Jones he be doing. Nah, it was like on a night show, like one of those oh, late night okay, shows. Oh, okay, one of late night Letterman shows. or somebody like that. Oh, one of them. Going. I'm sorry, I'm not really too familiar with the motherfuckers. No, I feel you, shit. They all the same shit to me. But they I just seen like, one of the no, songs he did up there, and that was which one? I want to say closed on closed on Sunday. Wow. Okay, well, I, <laughs> okay, yeah, you know I mean, I skimmed it. I ain't gonna lie. I like the one he was saying, uh, so about Chick Fil A or some shit. That shit was awesome. That's that's the one I'm talking no, that's about. The song. I, I didn't closed know the name on, of it. Yo, my Chick Fil A. I like that song. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, like, the, that's the one I heard. I like that song. It won't have bad. Did you hear about, uh, um, what's his name? Nori? Yeah. Yeah. You already knew what I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, when Nori was like, uh. Um, yeah, yeah, that shit trash, man. Yeah, he was like, that shit he trash. He said it so nonchalantly. But why, what was that? Do you think, because, like, niggas is saying pretty much like Kanye is, uh, I don't know, like, I ain't gonna say extorting Jesus, but he tried to use Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I mean. It's like his. Trump card. You know? But I'm saying, okay, I'm going to say this because both of these niggas from Chicago. Right. R- didn't R. Kelly do some some gospel shit? Remember that? Remember that? Probably. I mean, oh, but this you R. can Kelly see. Did like, some, like some gospel shit in his music and he was touching little girls and they and they went crazy. But when, uh, You know a lot of R&B singers have... <laughs> Christian backgrounds. I mean, that's cool, but when you touch the little girls, I think your Christian background is erased. <laughs> True <laughs> indeed. I don't know. That's another subject. <laughs> you know what I mean? We but, do not uh, condone that shit fuck, over here. Fuck no. We can't condone that shit by no means. What? No means. You know what I mean? But no, I'm just saying, so so what you think? Do you think Kanye has a point or he's just talking stupid? A point about what, though? That's a good question. It sound like he <laughs> He'd be, be saying a lot of shit. Yeah. Like He'd be rambling and shit. What so, part are you talking about? <laughs> that's a good... Okay, matter of fact, remember he said... Okay, he said that we're... Black people are cultureless. Like, we get our whole culture... What did he say? Like, foreign cars and all that shit from, like, other people. He said that we cultureless. Mm, that's deep. That's and, damn near a fact. Yeah. And but people, at the same time, uh-huh. if you say that in a bigger scope, right now, uh-huh. you know, there's American made things. Like, there's uh-huh. black. Made I think things. we're talking about like black culture, not like American culture. But black I'm just culture. saying, like, as an example, like, uh-huh. in general, the shit cultural is we get a lot of shit from everywhere else. But True. we really don't have anything to stand on and be like, yeah. this is ours. You know what I mean? Like, even hip hop. You feel me? I mean, at first it did, and then we got taken away from us when it got manufactured. The Jews make the rules. <laughs> no, nah, but that's what I'm saying, though, because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it used to be hip-hop was, I guess it was ours. Right? Yeah. Was it ever ours? Yeah. 
though. It was. You I think mean, so? it was created, right? True. So you believe in the beginning it was ours, and then we let them. Uh, what's, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Capitalize off the of hip hop. No, it became commercialized. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. If I said that right. No, you said it. I think you said it exactly right. <laughs> that's exactly what the fuck happened. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I think that's what it became. And then, you know, I, I think certain morals we started getting stripped from it after mm. that. But I mean, that's not to say that there's not artists that keep their morals intact while doing it. It's just harder to do now. True. True. You really have to be morally strong in general uh-huh. as a person. You get what I mean? Uh-huh. To keep the morals. To keep, to keep your, to keep the, you, you say in hip hop, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I think that, uh, let me get comfortable, man. Y'all gotta, you know what I mean? Cause y'all know this is the real hip hop show. Like, this shit be authentic. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I mean? Like, for real, for real. I gotta. It's the real hip hop show. Scoot my chair right, man. Uh, hold on. Let me scoot my chair right, you know what I mean? Hope y'all hear my kids in the background playing this shit. Cause I said this is the real hip hop show. Like, we do shit for real on this side. But, uh, I'm not, I'm just saying, like, so again, you, you pretty much agree or don't agree with what Kanye is saying? Like he said, we don't have our own culture because, like Gucci and all that, we wearing hip hop and this, that, and the other, which has actually been in hip hop. Rock him and them used to uh, Dana Dane. Remember Dana Dane made niggas uh uh Gucci um coats and all that because niggas can afford the real Gucci and shit. And now Dana Dane works for Gucci, like they em- employed him or some shit. Yeah, gave him a job. I guess you want to call it that, whatever. But I'm saying, so you agree with Kanye that we don't have our own culture, or we do have our own culture? I mean, really, like. It's kind of hard to say because we do, but then we don't. True. And then we don't, but then we do. True. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I, I see, mean? Yeah, I see what you mean. Because at the end of the day, nigga, this our shit. But at the same yeah. time, it ain't our shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it, it give you that kind of feeling. You feel me? That's kind of fucked up when you think about it. Yeah. Because it makes you wonder, like, what the fuck are we really listening to? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, in your opinion... Like okay, since we don't have our like, because people would say that like, it's people that agree with Kanye, then it's people that don't. Now to those that do agree with Kanye, right? Right. So, is it that like hip hop? Okay, the songs, right? Since it's not our culture, is it somebody else telling them this what you got to say? You know what I'm saying? Like this what you supposed to say? This what you're going to say? Because we got to sell records. Shit. Well, you feel me? I can't say for sure. Of course, you know, but. You know, they are stores that it is yeah. like that. Like, I nigga, that. but I think that might come with having different writers associated with songs. But True. you know what I mean? That could be just like the creative process they got going on. Like, nigga, this is the lead writer. You get what yeah. I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you need to listen to him. This is the lead writer on this label or whatever it, it may be. But yeah. Shit, I know it was being an artist myself. Like, nigga, my songs is my songs. So that's how yeah. I know that there's people out there where they like, nah, these are my songs. Mm. So you saying like with I'm gonna just be real, like with Kanye's uh uh Ghostwriters? Like they saying, nah, yo, this is how the I wrote I wrote this song to sound this way and to say this. You know what I'm saying? Well, nah. You know what I, I'm saying? I think Kanye was bigger than somebody else telling him what to say. Mm. I mean, obviously, because he wouldn't say the things he do say. You talking about off the mic? You she know what I'm saying? And on it too, though. You feel me? Yeah. But see, that's 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 that, that's what gets me with with the whole Kanye conversation, right? Because mm-hmm. Kanye's had a lot of ghostwriters, right? That's not saying that the music that he's made, he don't stand on that himself. But if he didn't write it, is it him saying it? You feel me? I feel you. I believe that because we know can, I feel like you can illustrate somebody else's story. True, because I know like Consequence and I know what's how the Princess wrote for Kanye. Hmm? Consequence and Sahara Prince. Yeah, of course. Okay. Both of them have wrote for Kanye, right? right? Now they black, so I, I can say that's a, that's our culture. I give it that. But I'm pretty sure you got some white boy that, or somebody that, that wrote some shit for Kanye that we. Really, really bumped or whatever. So does that mean that we ain't got our like the conversation? It's like up. It's tossing turn. I, mean, I feel like if Kanye is standing, feeling like he's standing up for the culture, if mm-hmm. he does have somebody like that mm-hmm. brought in on the writing process, he uh-huh. invited them into the culture. Mm. Oh, ooh, you I feel think about it like that. Yeah, you feel me? He was invited in. 
True. Like, so, he ain't telling me, like, yeah, you need to say it like this. Uh-huh. He He's brought in, like, yo, I already got this track. Uh-huh. I would kind of like your influence on it, but I want you to sound like this. Dude. Right. This how this is where I'm going with it. Right. I need for you to follow my lead versus you telling me where to go. You feel me? Right. Okay. Yeah. But see, that's that. that see, I ain't gonna lie. That's why I be I like to have these conversations with you know what I'm saying, other people because like I can get up here all day and say what I feel. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think this. I think that. But then my opinion to be too biased. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, you I, know, but hey, this is the real hip hop show, and it's always better to have real conversations. Factual. Factual. Not saying what you, you know what no, I'm saying. No, I know exactly what you're saying. But that's 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 why, like I just said, you feel me? That's why I like to have these conversations is because, of course, I see hip hop in my eyes. You feel me? Yep. And you see hip hop in your eyes or hear it through your ears, rather, or whatever you want And that's the it. beautiful thing about hip hop. Indeed. So... Do you think that I'm a, I'm a well, fuck it, Let's just say, it. do you think Lord Jamar was right? Then white people are guests in hip hop. Tell the truth. Of How course. Do you feel? I mean, of course. Okay. Why do you Why do you agree? I'm gonna tell you why I agree. But why do you Why do you agree? I agree because hip hop was based off a of black struggle. Indeed, black and Latino. The, but, uh, yeah. Same thing. No doubt. Same thing. No doubt. You Same know what thing. I'm saying? Let's keep Got it love cheap. for everybody. You know how it go. But it's Especially our Let's people. You feel me? But what I'm saying is it was based off our struggle. Uh-huh. Indeed. You get what I mean? Uh-huh. And they commercialized it. And I guess you can say they helped us get it out to the masses. To the masses. But, yeah. you know, quote. But, you know what I'm saying? It's our struggle. You know what I mean? True. Yeah. No, I, I know what you mean because... See, that's why, like, okay, like I said, I feel like not that white people can't rap, okay? Not that white people can't be in rap, right? Because they in rap, whether y'all understand it or not. Not just as rappers. You know some of them trap beats that niggas love? White boys be making that shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. some of those songs y'all yeah, hear. Yeah, true, true shit. Yeah, it's real. It's like, um. There's nothing wrong with being a guest. No, it's nothing wrong with it at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. At you one point, like, we won't even accept it. Goddamn. Huh? At one point, we won't even accept at it. At all. In society. So I'm saying, like, it's okay to be a guest in something that we created, you know? Factual. At least we saying you can come through yeah, the Yeah, like, like we saying pretty much, look, you invited to the cookout. You could come. You can get a plate to go, you know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> so that's why I agree with it. You know what I'm saying? Again, because it's like you said, it's something that we created. You understand what I'm saying? But I mean, let's just call it what it is. Black people created hip hop, right? And I mean, pretty much white people came knocking at the door. Uh, can uh, we see you guys kind of having fun in there? Can we come in? And of course, they're gonna check him at the door, like, uh, I don't know about you, man. Let me let me let, let, let me see where you at with yours, right? Right, right, right. And then when they say, you know, they do what they doing, it's like, all right, come in, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because think about it. Um, uh, like it's like all of, it's a lot of people. Uh, what's the Beastie Boys? Yeah. Which which when people do the history on the Beastie Boys, they didn't start out as as rappers. They was like on some rock and roll shit, and they turned into rap because they knew that shit was gonna sell. I mean, just didn't know that. Hell yeah, them niggas didn't start out like straight up rappers. Yeah, I didn't. That was like doing rock and roll and shit. You know what I mean? Right. But back to that whole guest shit. Mm-hmm. I feel like the only reason that down, it's a relevant conversation. Don't get me wrong, but uh-huh. you know, him being ass of that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? Like, I think they know that they're guests, and they should. <laughs> I mean, let's be I real, mean, they it's, it's kind of like go figure. I mean, they should know it. Why would, I mean, okay, like, oh, what's the what's the little boy name? Uh, Old Town Road. Lil Nas X. Well, technically, country music came from black people too, but that's not the point. The but point he was he got treated like a guest in that motherfucker. He got treated like a guest in, in in country when he made that song and went platinum and double platinum and quadruple or whatever. They was like, oh, this isn't this isn't country music, and he did a song with uh Billy Ray Cyrus, and they were mad at Billy Ray like you did a song with that goddamn nigga. You invited him, so we have cookouts. So, <laughs> invited him to the barbecue, <laughs> right? You know, because you know, you know that awkward feeling when you when you the black friend. That's who uh, Lil Nas X was. You think so? I don't know. I think oh, he over yeah. there chilling, man. Yeah, but I 
what I'm saying. Think about but it. But I think his 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 last couple of joints after that, it kind of put him in a pop lane. He just used yeah. that shit for a little, you know. Yeah. You know, and then he kind of skated off to the pop. Lane. Yeah, because I mean, but he don't like. Because I ain't gonna lie. After that song, I mean, I, I I don't listen to him at all. I mean, I know you don't either, but I mean, I know you've heard him. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I don't like listen check for him and listen. Him. You know what I mean? But yeah. So, I, okay, I'm, well, I listen, I'm a listener of music. Indeed. So I'm saying, okay, after you heard Old Town Road, then his newer shit. Is his newer shit more rap or? I ain't gonna lie. I it's, it's more melodic pop feeling. Uh, but I guess they not mad at him no more, huh? Basically, I, I got I, y'all mad. Okay, I walked through the door and went right out the back, <laughs> and now I'm at my house. <laughs> you feel? Me? You know what I'm saying? I took a couple plates. On the way out, yeah. use the bathroom. And bell. And I went and set my own shit up. Like, right, thanks, y'all. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, thanks, y'all. Uh, but I'm about to go. Like, I'm not finna stay for the I whole mean, shit. and he did it with the dude whose daughter did the same thing to us not Facts. too long ago. Facts. So, I mean. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. I mean, and then I'm just saying, I She's wouldn't say that poacher. if she didn't go, make, go do that little article and say what she said. You know? Quote her for me. I can't quote. We don't quote her, but what, break it down what she said. Basically, like, that was a phase in her motherfucking life. That was a phase in her motherfucking life. In other (laughs) words, I mean, I just wanted to see what it was like to be black for a minute. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, you know, niggas are so cool. Oh, shit, I think we pissing them off now. My bad, I'm sorry. (laughs) No, I ain't trying to piss nobody off. Just trying to stay fair. No, I mean, but the truth hurts. And that's what a picture is. The truth hurts. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, okay. Now we had a conversation the other the other night or the other day actually in the studio, right? Right. You remember that conversation? You know what conversation I'm talking about? That ge- it's like that generational gap conversation. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Tell me about it. No. Like it's there. It's, it's there. Real. But see, we also just had a conversation about how uh, what you call them? Rock, rock and roll, or whatever. Mm-hmm. They'll take their artists and they'll be they still love them forever. Which but is we'll, good That's good Yeah But we'll take our artists And when they 40 Oh nigga Don't mind when hear Old school shit Yeah That sucks So what you think about it? Well Other sucks We know it sucks Yeah it sucks I'm just saying Well you know what I think about it Like I value the That what came before me Because that's the Jeez. reason What we doing Now with everything That you do in life uh-huh. What came before you Is the reason What you're yeah, doing, you're doing now in, You in know the first what I mean place, right? Or whatever you're doing However you're doing it Something before you Let you do it now So you think so, In your opinion You think That That the youngins I, I call them youngins Fuck it That they should the pay, Just pay homage not that you yeah. gotta like, you ain't gotta like Tupac, Biggie, Run DMC, whatever, cause you were born, like. Well, I was taught, you might not like somebody, but you should always respect your respect elders. Respect them. Respect the I elders mean, and respect, and, and just respect to your Just respect, theory, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Respect and liking somebody is two different things. True. You ain't gotta like, yeah, it's true. Cause you ain't gotta like me, but you gonna respect me. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? That's just, Based off someone being a human being, you have a respect for someone just because they're alive, and especially if you're mm-hmm. taking part in something that they helped found. True, you True. should respect them. You might not have, you don't have to listen to them every day, right? You don't have to say they're the hottest in the world, but you should At respect, least respect them. It, right? You feel me? Yes. But this generation ain't got no respect. You feel what I'm saying? It's out there. Yeah, it is. It is. Well, what we see for the most part, there ain't no respect. Put it like that. And I don't really think it's no disrespect. It's just they don't give a fuck about it. But I think that's disrespectful to not give a fuck. Like, not saying you got to care within your soul and all that shit. But I'm talking about, like, I don't think they even got enough respect to even, like you just said, they don't give a fuck. They don't even got enough respect to even care at all. You feel me? Like, that's my thing. I feel you. A lot of people be focused on what the fuck they got going on and what benefits them and what makes them feel a certain way. Mm-hmm. And if it's not a part of that little category, or if it don't fall in there, just don't give a fuck. It's the way shit is. It's like short attention span. Like they already not paying attention to shit that's going on now. They really not going to look back 10 years. True. But see, okay. <laughs> but okay. Well, let me say this thing. For instance, 
how they don't respect what's going on, I say old school, right? Mm-hmm. They don't realize they're going to be old one day. Hey, stop being so loud. You damn right, got to tell the kids to shut up, too. But no, what I'm saying is, again, for real, think mm-hmm. about it. How they don't respect what's going on, right? Oh, they don't respect old school. They're going to be old school one day. Exactly, but the way life is set up now, everything is on the go and it's so fast. You really not, you're not really thinking about damn near next week because so much shit is going on in your everyday today. life. You think about today. Exactly. And maybe tomorrow and a, yeah. a couple of days beyond it, but yeah. It's just yeah, so I see you, what you're you know what I mean? No, like, I see. I see exactly what you're saying, but that's my thing, though. Because, like I said, you take uh, uh, pump, hey, little pump, little punk, little bitch. What's his name? Little, I guess yeah, that pump, guy. Yeah. Um, my point is, you take that little nigga, right? Uh-huh. Nah, never mind. Never mind. I don't want to use him for an example. Uh, oh fuck. Uh, I, I don't know because the reason why I say I don't want to use him for an example is because like. Let's just be real. Yeah. Who's going to give a fuck later? Yeah, a lot of shit. What they say, microwave. Facts. They only really created or help survive for so long is because they just like, financial okay. benefit. Okay, like, okay, like, I'm saying, like, fuck it. Any young nigga that feel that way, you know what I mean? Whoever it is. And they say, well, this some bullshit. I don't fuck with that old school shit, this, that, and the other. And then in 10 years, when uh, the next young nigga is out, right? And they say, and they bring up, okay, you kind of got that from 21 Savage, right? Or you uh-huh. mimic, or you grew up on 21 Savage. Now you took what 21 Savage did and do it your own way. But then they said, then now this nigga say, man, fuck that old school 21 Savage shit. What you think 21 Savage is going to say when he's 35, 36? What? Nigga, I paved the way for you to do that. Not saying that 21 Savage is one of those that say, fuck the old school. I'm just using an example. I get what you're saying. You feel me? But anybody's going to do that. It's just... Go ahead. They're not giving a fuck about any... The the next oh, person. Wow. You got. You feel me? Like, they're only... No, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of selfish saying. in a way, I would say, you know? Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they don't feel like what I'm saying, but... Yeah. You know... I yeah. just feel like they just don't give a fuck, bro. Like they're not thinking about no old niggas. Yeah, I mean, from what right. they will say, probably I ain't thinking about no old niggas yeah. shit because it's some, it's different out here now. Yeah, see that's what I'm sure. saying. I'm at the age now where I'm at the middle. I'm in the middle, middle like, child, like, Cole, like 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 Cole said. You know what I'm saying? A middle child. That's why I, I felt what he said when he was like, "Man, I'm about to go meet Ho for lunch," but I just was talking to. uh no, Kodak, uh, Kodak. Kodak. I was talking to Kodak. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the middle yeah. of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, because I, I still rock with the young homies. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not a young Kodak homie no age, more. So you feel me? Yeah. I'm not a young homie no more. Right. But I still rock with them. Right. But I still understand you, the big it, boy shit too. You yeah, because Cole is in that uh, not old enough to be OG, but not young enough to be a young nigga. That yeah. makes him the middle child. So yeah. I get it. Yeah. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I be saying though. But. We just, I don't know, man. I just think that, you know, I think personally, regardless whether you young, new school, old school, I just think people should have more respect for the culture of hip hop. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? Because how can you not respect something that pays you? You know what I'm saying? That takes care of your kids and shit like that. It's like when people go to their job every day, man, fuck this job. I don't give a fuck. I feel you, but that job is the reason why your son got on Jordans right now. You feel me? Right. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? That don't make no sense to me. So, I mean, it's, it, it go both ways. You feel what I'm saying? Now. But still, it's going, you know what I mean? It's going to be fucked, this job. Either way. Either way. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, okay, let me ask you this. What is this? November. So, wow, we only got like a month left in this year, right? 2020. Where do you see hip-hop going in 2020? Mm. Mm. Do you see it The way better? it's been going. Right. There ain't no motherfucking Com- telling. Compare, okay, coming from 2019, we're going to leave 2018 and everything else out of it. Coming out of 2019, where do you see it? Where do you think it sh- it, it might go 2020? I'm, I'm thinking it's going to, I ain't going to say necessarily get back to the bars, but I do believe it's going to get back to some good music. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's a lot of dope young cats out here. 
What's his name? YBN Corday? Bars. Bars. I think uh, Kendrick's going to drop something in 2020. They already said, you know, Cole releasing in 2020. He's, he's most definitely releasing the Fallout in 2020. Uh, l- Let's see here. It'd be nice if Lupe dropped. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. It'd be nice. You know what I mean? I well, think on Dreamville going to go hard 2020. I'm, a, I'm, I'm expecting big things from TDE. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think they're going to carry that that weight. You know what I mean? They're going to keep going Dream strong. Is, you think Dreamville's going to carry the TDE weight? No, no, no. I'm saying I think they're going to keep carrying the weight that they already dropping on motherfuckers now. Like how they having a good year now. Yeah, they had a great year. I feel like they're going to carry that on into 2020. And I, and I was yeah. going on to say, like, I feel like TDE is probably going to do something special. I hope so. It's about that time. I hope so because J-Rock with his album, I think that came out in 2018, but that's not the point. Uh, that Redemption album, that's a mm. fucking classic. I would say it's a classic. They in the business of making classics, man. True. But what about, uh, what was the name of, um, what's his name? Schoolboy last album. I don't remember the name of it. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? The last one he dropped. The last album. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. I know what you're talking about. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I skimmed feel- it. I ain't gonna lie, I skimmed it. I wasn't excited. Maybe because, because he said it himself. Know, that shit was hard. Chopsticks, dangerous with Cuddy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's way. I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I skimmed it. You know what I mean? But skimming and listening are two different things, so I get that. It but, is. But what I'm saying is, I hope, you know what I'm saying, that hip hop goes into, like, it keeps pushing forward. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead, we're looking for your phone. Yeah, yeah. Where you put it at? I don't know because I don't have it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't have. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to find his phone. You know how that go. That? We here. You do? We good. All right. But um, again, you know what I'm saying. I just hope you know what I'm saying that it goes into. You know, I, I don't know. I just hope it it, it goes further. It gets back to being better. You know what I mean? Whatever the fuck that I means. feel like it will. <laughs> Whatever that means, right? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, like you said, when you go back and you hear any young know, cats like Corday, mm-hmm. that gives you face. Like, okay, there's younger ones that. Yeah, let's go uphold the culture. That still, you know. Yeah. And even when uh, J. Cole had dropped that track on his um, KOD album, Corday responded to him. You talking about the youngest? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he responded true. and he spoke up like, yeah, and I feel like you old niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to respect that. But it, I don't think he was dissing the young no, niggas. No, he wasn't. And right. he won't dissing him. He, But it was a response like, hey, I'm going to talk back for the young homies and yeah, tell you how we feel. You talking so, about uh, Corday. Oh, okay, okay. Corday's don't, I think, was res- respectful. It was hard. Both of them was respectful. Yeah. But what's his name? Lil Pump was like, fuck J. Cole. That was like, come on, bro. But yeah, but then they ended up having a whole interview. Oh, sit down, you know. You know so yeah. yeah, which is one of the wackest interviews. This is what everybody was saying. They was talking about it was whack. That's what the people were saying. I don't know. Tell the truth. What you think? Did you watch the whole thing? How much of it did you watch? <laughs> to be honest, yeah, I didn't watch. I think I watched like ten minutes of it. I didn't watch it. Yeah, I feel you. I watched like ten minutes of it. I feel you though. I watched like ten minutes of it, and I was like, "There's nothing against. There's nothing against Pump or Corday. But he won't say. It's like the conversation. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, yeah. Nothing against Pump. Nothing against Corday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing against Pump. Nothing against Corday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing against Pump. Nothing against Corday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing against Pump. Nothing against Corday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing against Pump. Nothing against Corday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing against Pump. Nothing against Corday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing against Pump. Nothing against Corday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing against Pump. Nothing against Corday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing against Pump. Nothing against Corday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing against Pump. Nothing against Corday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing against Pump. Nothing against Corday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing against Pump. Nothing against but I think it is because then he kind of like name dropping in the joint. Uh, I don't think he said Lil Pump. He said Lil. Lil kinda, whatever. Yeah. Same mistake. Yeah. Yeah. So that's he Lil just, Uzi Vert. I mean, know? yeah. He just categorized the Lil. And I guess Pump felt like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Which, I, don't know. I mean, I think I've, at some point any human being would feel like attacked. Yeah, true. Because if your name was Lil So and So, especially in this era, like damn, what you trying to say about the Lil? <laughs> you know I'm a Lil. I'm a Lil, <laughs> nigga. All my Lil stand up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lil Wayne didn't feel no kind of way. Is Lil Wayne right. still, still Lil Wayne? Yeah, he's still we Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> kind of how like Young Jeezy took Young out of here. He's just yeah, Jeezy, he Jeezy now. now, but he ain't Young. 
Right. <laughs> I feel like you got to grow out of that stage. Yeah, it did. It did. Well, I guess, I mean, shit, it worked at the same time. True. I mean, of course, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's just, I mean, everybody got their hip, their hip hop opinions on what's dope, what's not, what should be, what shouldn't be, right? Right. So it's always going to be an opinion. And that's why I try to tell people all the time about my show. It's, these are opinions. They're not facts. Only facts I feel like there are in hip hop. Not only, mm-hmm. but the most part. For the most part, the the most facts that are in hip hop are numbers. Basically, you know yeah. Who sold what? Okay, yeah. But other than that, That's it's facts. just opinion. Yeah, it's how you feel, man. Mm-hmm. Hip hop is about the feeling, man. Right. But that's what I be saying though. Like, when, okay, when you say how you feel, right? Right. Well, I say how I feel. Yeah. People act like, oh, you act like that's fact. No, I'm just trying to say how I feel. Right. And if you feel like that, tell me how you feel. That's it. And we can have the conversation. Right? Ain't nobody going to get mad. Right. Because we, we all we can do is say how we feel. Why we can't have the conversation? Talk Without to it me. being what you just said. Like, why you got to get mad about the, uh, the opinion of whoever? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but with feelings, uh-huh. it invokes feelings. Mm. Hold on, say it again. Feelings invoke feelings. Feelings invoke feelings, y'all. You know, I like that. One. It's really real. <laughs> <laughs> feelings invoke feelings. I like it a lot. Yeah, I mean, but you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Jay Real at the Real Hip Hop Show. Where hip hop is Chill. everything, and everything is hip hop, man. I appreciate you for swinging through, shot man. Word up, man. We gotta do it again when we get a chance. Man, we got to, man. This feel like it's a classic. Yeah. It give me that feeling of when you recording a classic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I appreciate you having me, man. It's a great experience. It's my first time, people. You know. Oh, yeah. I hope to be back. Oh, no. Hope to be back, he says. No, he'll be back. Hope. Yeah. <laughs> you know nah, but seriously. He'll be back, y'all. It's your boy, Jay Real at the Real Hip Hop Show. Well, hip hop is everything and everything is hip hop. Again, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homie Shy. Y'all be on the lookout for a lot of his music, which his music does get played on the show. And you work, matter of fact, before we get up out of here, you working on an EP, right? Yeah, 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 man. Hey, it's not, it? it's not named yet. Okay. It's still in the um, works of being named. You know, okay. it's still in the works of being recorded and getting it tight. You know what I'm okay. saying? Making sure it's ready for the people. But it is on the way. So that'll be 2020 for sure. I yeah, mean, 2020, sure. man, That's for sure. Of 2020, so for sure, 2020, for sure. Early first quarter, second quarter. What do you think? Uh, one two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Hey, just know it's coming. I'm gonna continue to feed the people. Indeed, indeed, yo. We gonna be on the lookout for that untitled. You know what I'm saying? Shy EP, but it's coming though. You know what I'm saying? That's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta respect the process. You know what I'm saying? It's respect the, the process, process you man. You gonna love the music. Respect the process and love the music. Indeed. Indeed, man. you already know, man. Again, man, appreciate the homie for swinging through. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Jay Real at the Real Hip Hop Show, where hip hop is everything and everything is hip hop. We up out of here, man. Peace. Peace.